<laughs> Where do you think UK TV is at the moment and what are you loving? So last year during during Earth <laughs> Serial Killer Gate, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I am addicted to Buffy the Vampire Slayer and I always I, religiously uh, about three o'clock, usually when I'm stuck, uh, yeah. I go down and watch an episode, just a random episode, <laughs> and it always it's, it's it's like going to consult the oracle. It's like, <laughs> what would Buffy it. do? <laughs> yeah, what would Buffy do? It's kind of like that. It is teetering on some religion, like you know those people, you know, who put Jedi down. I do just go down and go, oh, what would Wedden do? You know, if I'm really stuck, I watch the first Avengers. But I also watched a lot of documentaries last year. Oh, on Netflix, so many great documentaries. Yeah. Going Clear was just brilliant. Oh, that was amazing. Um, you know, the one about Scientology. I struggle to watch uh, British drama when I'm writing something similar because I'm scared and I'll think I've nicked it. I, I spoke to Nicola a year or so ago and she said she watches every, every drama. And I just think, you know, there is some great drama, but how how do you watch every drama? I feel like I watch everything pretty much, but Nicholas, for somebody Nicholas. in her position yeah. who loves TV so much to be able to watch every drama must be draining. I'd have she's thought. omnipresent. That's why. What you don't realise is she she has that ability. When she she has an extraordinary mind. She can just consume information and you know use it. She's absolutely brilliant like that. Yeah. You know, oh, my other one. You know, uh, is uh, my old fogey. Uh, you know, go tos that are West Wing. Uh, oh right. I, I have moments of that uh, but recently I was doing a, a West Wing Thick of It ping pong game where I'd watch an episode of West Wing then an episode of Thick of It how do you feel about Veep have you ever it's seen the US remake I don't like it I don't, I, don't, I don't get it I don't I don't know why I don't like it I'm not going to criticise it in any way I can only assume it's my own prejudices in my head I don't know <laughs> the Thick of It I love Veep just doesn't sit doesn't just, that's doesn't interesting penetrate. isn't it I will also admit and don't hate me to having watched uh uh, uh, the whole series, first half of Supergirl <laughs> the other day. <laughs> well, I, I can either leave that in or I can edit it out. It's up to how it... <laughs> 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 it just depends how I feel at the end. I'm a very serious television writer, as you can see. Yeah. I always remember, Paul Abbott always used to say, and he was brilliant, I learned lots when I worked on show once with him, was if you've, if you've heard someone else say it before, then don't write it. From everything from Hi Honey, I'm Home, Unless you're taking a piece out. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I can't remember the last time I heard that. But, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, kind of, Good point. or, you know, someone going, you walk in and someone goes, so how was the funeral? And you go, well, the person's dressed in black with a black tie. So unless they've been to the RTS Awards or the Oscars, an audience will know that they've been to a funeral without you saying it. And uh, he's always in the back of my head whenever I write a line. He's going, would you hear that anywhere else? And if you would, don't write it. Did you <laughs> see No no Offence? And yeah. what did you think of Paul's take on it's the police? Brilliant, the police Absolutely crime. brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'd like to see the battle of the toilet scenes. Much more capable than me with technology. You could do a very nice mashup of the toilet scenes. <laughs> um, I think they would fit beautifully together. I think you could actually create your own little mini series out of the last five series. Just Saran toilet. waiting outside while uh, they, they use the toilet. That would yeah, be, as- yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I thought no offense was brilliant. Absolutely. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Very, 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 very well done series. Could have been so awkward with the down story. It's one of the most unique things <laughs> I've ever, I've ever seen. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, so, how do you think they got away with that? Why, how do you, why do you think? I, I well, not think even got away with it. But I think just having Paul's name attached, you know what you're going to, you know what you're in for, and you know there's no malice behind it. Exactly. It's just a unique way of telling a story that we've never seen before, and it just kept my attention. I loved it. Yeah. By the end, you know. Exactly. And it gave a lot of actors with Downs good exposure. Yeah, I, I think he's he's brilliant at that. And I think, you know, he and Russell, uh, uh, you know, who were friends, I think they're, they're sort of leading lights in, in all of that, in diversity, in a way of storytelling. They really just go for it. And they go, we're just going to present the world as it is. And that's what they always say. They're not doing anything different. They're just, they're just presenting the world as it is, which most people don't. We have Jimmy McGovern, we have Paul Abbott, we have Sally Wainwright and Russell T Davis. Yeah. As the cream of the crop. Yeah. I like to say, you know, they always will be in my mind and to be able to work with them must have been extraordinary. I've only written on three things and that's a Paul Abbott show, a Sally Wainwright show and a Russell T Davis show. So I almost hate you for that in a way. Yeah. 
<laughs> to begin that exposure is it's just incredible. I know where the bodies are buried. That's all, the only thing. Yeah. Is I know their pin numbers. I know the access to their emails. I think that's how I do it. <laughs> It's only downhill from here. So, make sure you watch Scott and Bailey Wednesdays at 9 on ITV. Download this podcast from thecustardtv.com.